protoplanets are essentially massive objects that are planets in the making. It doesn't have enough gravity to form a spherical shape and they are smaller than dwarf planets. Much like dwarf planets, protoplanets have cleared their neighborhood and are usually found in the vicinity of asteroids. Over time, protoplanets collide with asteroids, becoming larger and could eventually become a dwarf planet or a planet. The protoplanet hypothesis suggests that about 5 billion years ago, a cloud of gas and dust at least 10 billion kilometers in diameter rotated slowly in space. The cloud shrank over time either because of a supernova or the pull of its own gravity. The cloud rotated faster and faster as it got smaller, gathering most of its materials towards its center, compressing it and heating it up, eventually resulting in hydrogen fusion giving birth to the new star. About 10% from the material formed a disk around the star, creating protoplanets and later formed planets and moons. What remains today are comets, meteoroids, and asteroids. This is also the theory of how our solar system was formed. Early protoplanets are highly radioactive because of how they were formed, but the radioactivity of these planets usually decreased because of radioactive decay. Radioactivity heats up the protoplanet and any impact and gravitational pressure melt parts of the protoplanet as it grows into a planet. Heavier elements sink to the center and lighter elements rise to the surface. This process is known as planetary differentiation. It usually results in a core and a mantle. This also occurs in dwarf planets, asteroids, and moons. Recent data from the Dawn space probe suggest that the asteroid Vesta is an ancient protoplanet. It has an iron core 220 kilometers wide, and its surface composition has a much more complex geological history than other asteroids. Its surface is full of craters from collisions over the eons. Its northern hemisphere consists of older impacts, and the southern show more recent impacts. Compared to other asteroids, Vesta is about 530 kilometers in diameter. That's almost as wide as Arizona. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.